Hi friends! I'm here to show you another one of my favorite little DIYs. I got a whole lot of feedback about this piece and I just thought I would share it with you. So this is actually something that I came up with out of necessity. I was trying to get ready for work, didn't have an accessory to wear with um, the outfit that I was wearing. It was the day that I had on the electric blue skinny jeans and the gray t-shirt. I didn't have anything to go with it, like a cute necklace or anything. So, um, out of desperation, <laughs> I came up with this necklace. And it's actually the one that I'm wearing. It's just like a little fr fringy type of necklace. And fringe is really in right now. You see it a lot on bags, on shoes. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to make a necklace, a fringe necklace. And you may have seen them um, or something similar. I can't really, nothing really comes to mind right now. Um, but I've seen them before. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, P.S. I know I need to get my hair done. So I'll, I'll, I'll get it together one of these days. <laughs> anyway, um, so I started with just a regular random t-shirt. I think it may have been my husband's, my kids, I don't know, somebody's t-shirt. I saw it, grabbed some scissors and, scissors and went to work. So anyway, I cut off the sleeve um, of a t-shirt like this and literally it's, I, I just cut it off at the seam um, and ended up with this. And then I cut this part of the sleeve. So you know how there's a seam here on your t-shirt when you're wearing it? That's the seam that I cut. So I'll show you really quick. You just cut the seam open and it doesn't matter how sloppy or how neat you do it. It's something, it's one of those looks that it's almost the sloppier the better. Um, and as I said, I did this one morning literally took me probably about five minutes if that um, but I did it one morning really quickly kind of in a rush and it, so it was pretty sloppy <laughs> but anyway once you cut the seam this is what you're gonna end up with it's gonna be a u-shaped type of piece um, this part right here is gonna be the part that's gonna end up going around your neck and the, this u-shaped part is going to be the part that you're going to be making slivers out of so um, if you have more time on your hands and you want to pretty it up a little bit you can cut off the edges here and I'll just do it for the sake of our DIY video um, so that my scissors are <laughs> jacked so I need to get a, another pair. But anyway, I don't even know where these came from. I think they're actually <laughs> cooking scissors. Uh, but I don't cook, so hey. <laughs> Should put them to use, right? Okay. I'm just kidding. I cook. Seriously, I cook. Okay. Anyway. So anyway, you end up with a piece that's kind of like this. And again, it's messy. I didn't, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You you don't want to go for perfection, honestly. You just want it to be kind of messy, quick, little project. So anyway, you end up with this piece, and then you just start cutting down with your scissors. So the edge pieces, the first piece that you cut here, and the very last piece that you cut here, will want to be a little bit thicker because those pieces are going to be the pieces that you tie around your neck once you put it on. So if they're too thin, the more you wear it, the more likely it is that the those pieces can tear off. So is my assumption. I mean, I don't know. I just kind of, as I'm thinking about it, it seems like that may occur. So anyway, that first and last piece should be on the thicker side. So I'll just cut those two really, I'll cut those two first. And then, so this is what we've got so far. Okay, two longer pieces, and they're going to end up going around your neck like this. So, now I'll just start cutting very unevenly along the, um, along the bottom of this necklace part. 
and I'm really not using any kind of measurement I'm just cutting along you can make the pieces as thick or as thin as you like and if you happen to cut off a piece or you cut it too thin don't worry about it like it's really a messy fun easy look to accomplish so the messier the better the more funky the better you know no pressure like it's not <laughs> it doesn't have to be a masterpiece so anyway you're gonna cut all the way along you see I've started this one this is kind of a shorter I think it might be a little bit shorter than the one that I have on but at any rate you're gonna cut 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 all the way around and you're gonna end up with something that looks like this okay something that looks like this um, I don't know if, why I keep thinking about Tarzan, but anyway, <laughs> you're going to end up with something like this. And like I said, I mean, you'll notice that some, you'll notice that's really messy, first of all. And then you'll also notice if you look really closely that this piece, for example, where is it? Actually got cut off. Oh, here it is. This piece actually got cut off, but still it doesn't make the necklace look horrible. You know, it's still does the job. So anyway, that's what you end up with and you just tie those pieces around your neck. Who's calling? Okay, I'll call you back. All right, and there you have it. You're all set. Whatever. Um, so that was quick and easy. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave me a comment and you can obviously follow me on Twitter at Fashion Du Jour and you can follow my blog at Fashion Du Jour Daily, don't forget the daily, dot blogspot.com. I hope you didn't, I hope you've enjoyed this DIY and I look forward to seeing your comments. Bye bye.